Hey, hey, vaping people. This is Jimmy, the vape guy, over here at Vapor Nation. I got my hands on the newest product from Grenco Science, better known as G Pen, probably to a lot of people, and that is the Nova Vaporizer. Let's go ahead and take a review of who this is for, the uses of this vape, and just give you some nice information so you can decide if it's the product for you. Let's get into it. The Grenco Science Nova vaporizer is priced at $35, so it's a nice entry level vaporizer or a solid alternative to the cheaper batteries that are out there, the no name unbranded ones. It has three variable voltage settings on the battery, a dual use chamber for dry herb or concentrates. It is a quartz cup with a ceramic heater right underneath it that caused the heat to go up into it. It's designed with a rubber mouthpiece that offers kind of a buffer to the heat. So as you're drawing on it, the heat from the chamber doesn't get passed along and into your mouth or to your lips, which can be a little unpleasant when you're trying to vaporize. The mouthpiece also includes an integrated concentrate loading tool. And this can also act as a stir tool when you're using dry herb in the chamber. So how do you use the Nova? Well, for starters, you're gonna need to charge it. Use the micro USB port down at the bottom. The red light means it's charging and green means it's good to go. To turn it on, press the button five times. This is pretty standard on buttons in the vaporizer industry um, to turn the battery on or off. And then this unit also features variable voltage so you can toggle through by pressing three times. It'll flash to show what voltage level you're on and then you can toggle again to the next one the colors indicate what voltage you're using. And it also features a sesh mode. If you have a thicker concentrate that needs a little preheating, press it twice and the battery will heat up on its own. No need to hold the button down. Press it again at any point and it'll stop heating for you. To use the Nova with dry herb, simply remove the mouthpiece from the unit. You're gonna wanna take your herb that's been ground I like to use it a little bit chunkier. Don't grind to it powder necessarily. I like it to be a little more like density to it. Drop it down into the chamber. Now it's better to underfill and not go too far on it. The stir tool that's in there will help push it down and give you the denseness that you want without packing it to the point where you're not gonna be able to even draw through it. You're trying to get a hit out of it. That's, that's the point here. The Nova has three different variable voltages. So depending on the herb you're using, the moistness can vary. If you have a drier herb, you're gonna to wanna to use the lower variable voltage. And for a moister herb where you need more heat, crank up that voltage to the highest level. Play around with it, you'll find what works best for you. Let me know, I'd be curious to see. The other material that the Nova is compatible with is concentrates. So how do you load concentrates? It's very simple. It's got the integrated concentrate load tool that you dip down in, get enough on it, and then place it down into the chamber. When you put it on, give a slight twist on the mouthpiece to help prevent any sort of gap between the, the top of the uh, cartridge and the bottom of the mouthpiece. Nice little twist as you push down that'll fix any issues you're having. Once the concentrate has been loaded in there, hold down the button and it'll start heating. If you have a really thick concentrate, you might wanna use the sesh mode. Press it twice and it'll start heating up for you and then you can begin drawing on it. That might give you the best hit. As with the herb, play around with it. Every concentrate's a little different and you can find out what works best for you. I want to make sure you get the most out of this vaporizer. That's why I've spent my time with it. So here's my tips and tricks for what worked for me to get the best performance from the G Pen Nova. For dry herb, use a thicker, chunkier grind. Don't grind it to a powder. I find that with more surface area, it helps it vaporize, but it's not going to combust on you on accident. With that, don't overpack it. Allow the stir tool to press down and make the herb denser so you get a slower passage of heat through, but you're not gonna combust or not even be able to draw out of it. 
Also, throughout the use with the herb, use the integrated stir tool. It's your friend, mix it up. This will prevent hot spots that can occur, which will once more possibly combust from the overheating. If using it with concentrates and it's your first time, start with a very small amount. Allow yourself to get familiar with what you're using. From there, I never recommend going over like a BB's amount. If you put too much concentrate in it and as it heats and liquefies, it might possibly leak out on you and then you got a mess or if you pop the top off at any point, it's just not worth it. If you're finding a gap is occurring in between your mouthpiece and the top of the cartridge, not only just trying to push down, but give it a push and a twist kind of back and forth. This will prevent any sort of gap in between. You don't want to get any like pocket fuzz or anything in there. That helped me when I was trying to get the top down. It can be frustrating when it's not working for you. If you are going to use dry herb and concentrates, I highly recommend cleaning it in between use. Once you put concentrate in there and then try and put some dry herb in, it doesn't seem to work really well. It's sticky. It can be a mess. Isopropyl in small amounts to clean it out or alternatively, Get an additional cartridge, one for dry herb, one for concentrates, and that'll always solve your problem. So who is the Nova for? First time users, it's a great option. It's a low cost, so you're not putting too much of an investment in. You can try it with dry herb and you can try it with concentrates. It lets you get like a, a lay of the land for vaporizers. As I said, Cost wise, it's for those on a tight budget. $35, I mean, it's hard to beat in terms of pricing for vaporizers. If you travel in a small group, maybe you're a lone wolf type person, then this is good for you. If you're a cloud chaser expecting big hits, it's not gonna really give you that. Picture like the old school one hitters that came with like the dugouts that you drop your herb in, little hits at a time. That's kind of the vein of what this is right here. And also, if you use a lot of pre-filled cartridges, this is a great option. The battery has a lot of functionality to it and it's good quality. So you can just simply unthread the cartridge, put your own pre-filled tank on and boom, you're vaping. That was our overview of the G-Pen Nova vaporizer. It's a vaporizer that's on a budget at only $35. It's dual use with dry herb and concentrates. I heck, it's actually try use if you take it off and put your own pre-filled cartridge on there. It's discreet, and easy to take out on the go. If you happen to have any questions that I haven't answered in this video, go ahead and leave those down in the comments and I'll get back to you. Um, go ahead and subscribe so you can stay uh, on the know. We release new videos very frequently and I want to help you out. That's everything for today. Cheers, guys.